It's food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we're going to be taking a look at a Mama Faux Ga. I hope I've pronounced it correctly. Probably haven't, knowing me. Let's get this kettle boiled. Um, this product is from Thailand. Picked it up in a Tesco Extra. So. Remove the sauce, kettle's just boiled, add the, it's not a sauce, it's a, it's more of a, there you go, like a powdery chicken stock with bits of green stuff and, and carrot, there you go. So we're going to fill it up to the line. Hopefully without burning myself. Here we go. And then we put the lid on. And I'm going to come back in four minutes when it's all steam cooked and ready to go. Back in a moment. Okay, so let's have a look at this Foga then. Mama Foga. Here's a look at it. I'm half tempted to get rid of some of the water, but I won't. It's telling me not to. I'm just going to add this little bit of. I think it's the spice. No, it's like a, it's part of the chicken stock, I think, but let's mix all that in. Now then, I think, I think that's the chicken, but it looks like a little bit of, you know the egg in fried rice? It looks a little bit like the egg from uh, fried rice, so. Oh, it's bits of chicken, really processed chicken. <laughs> So here is the, it's a rice noodle dish. Here are the rice noodles. Plenty of them and all of the, it soaked up a lot of the water that we added. And it's turned it into a bit of a soupy stock type thing. So without further ado, I can find these things, especially the rice noodles. I can find them either really tasty or not much going on at all. Let's see what we have here for Mama. Mmm. That's not bad. I've had some before. Um, is it neat? The Itsu, the Itsu brand, I had the rice noodles from Itsu and they were really, there was no flavour at all. But I think that's more of a British brand, a British take on these noodles. But these, I'm definitely getting the chicken stock. I'm definitely getting the spice. It's more of a a peppery spice. It's not going to burn you burn your throat or anything like that. It's more of a kind of a warm and peppery flavour. Mmm. But good. Fancy these. Fancy these today. Whilst I was in Tesco Extra, I picked up a load of different... I always go down the world food aisle, the beer aisle, but always picking different things up. I like trying ex different experiences from around the world. And these Thai noodles, they're pretty nice. They're pretty nice. Mmm. Oh, look at that. I think we managed to get a little bit of carrot on this one. Mmm. 
me a little bit of carrot. Now the reason why I fancy this today, i um, been out for my usual kind of six mile walk. Got in, had to get some shopping in, got the shopping in, come home. Next thing I know, it's like quarter past four in the afternoon. I haven't really had much to eat. Um, it, the, 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 the trials and tribulations of my life, you know, so... Yeah, it's quarter past four, I'm not having anything to eat, and I just needed something, I just hit a wall, I was starving, really hungry, and this, just to pop the kettle on, fill the line up with the water, get the little sachets in, it's much better than a, much, much better than a pot noodle, I find these, even the rice noodles, they're much more flavoursome than a pot noodle. Just a lot more about them. I mean, if you're more of a beef and tomato, chicken and mushroom type of person, you may not like this. But if you're the type of person to go into a Chinese restaurant and order something random off the menu, you might like this. It's worth giving it a go. I am. I'm one of these types of people who like to try out different variant, different various dishes from the Chinese restaurant. I think there's a little bit of lemongrass in here as well. And it's overall a pretty, pretty tasty dish. Mm. It says, I, I sometimes get these wrong by the way, um, it says product of Thailand on the side. I think it might be a Thai company that, a Thailand trusted quality product of Thailand for export only. So, it's saying it's from Bangkok. So maybe, I'm pretty sure, I mean it says Thailand on the dish but, on the, on the side of the packet here, but I have comments in the past when I did the beef, I did the beef faux version of this and people were saying, no that's not, that's from somewhere else it's not from Thailand but anyway, I'm going to rate it rating for the faux gar, rice noodles with artificial chicken flavour little bits of chicken slightly odd Slightly ropey. Oh, it's like very rubbery. Um, but it's not bad. It's not bad. It's a tasty dish. It's worth a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.